Hey, how's it going? So this is Brennan here, um, <laughs> in deep because uh, there's nowhere to go. Uh, but this is this is the point that um, nothing happens from California. Okay, the left coast, the little system, farther from impossible. Okay, if you want to see what I've got, okay, because I I want to see because my commitment is to goodness, to saving the world, and not. Um, being a loser. But if you want to see me as a winner, you know, I have to have a vacuum in which to do this. I, I have to have total concentration. If I'm distracted, I'm going to vent those distractions. Okay, I don't want to do that. Who, who wants to do that? Exactly. Um, so, you know, I've really got um, an epic story to tell. Okay, it's really, um, it's really a lot of research and science. And, um, you know, I, all I can say is that it's not possible here. I flunked English in California, okay? And it, it's just not possible, okay? It's just, this is torture, and when I try to speak, negative things come out. That's why I never wrote anything before I left California, and I tried to do it all away from California. So finding the vacuum is very difficult, okay? My, my first trip away, it was rather innocent. And um, I took chances, you know, got a vehicle and, you know, escaped and, and sort of felt, I felt innocent. Um, but um, not securing any of that innocence, that love, out there because unresolved issues. Um, you know, I, all I can say is if you want to see, if you want to see amazing stuff, okay, uh, if you want to see good things, okay, good things, you know, I have to edit, okay, because I go full spectrum and then I focus it down into just the good stuff. I realize, okay, what is that bad stuff? Let's find the metaphors and how we can reverse that and present the reverse of the bad so that we can say, okay, that's something bad going out. Let's turn it into something good coming in that is containing the badness. Okay, that's that's all I can say is that if I don't have a place to study, uh, so here here's the case study. People say, oh, are you talking about the 27 Club, Jim Morrison, Kurt Cobain? I'm actually talking about George Washington. Now, the T-H-E media is the big system, okay? Everyone successful in the media has a big sister, okay? This is just the reality, and they're usually second generation. Okay, there are, or they have a stepfather. Clint Eastwood has a stepfather, um, or had one, you know, and so he's blessed with that, um, like Bill Clinton as well, and Barack Obama all had stepfathers. They were blessed with that um, different perspective, okay, and, um, you know, it, it's, it's a vacuum. You go to Mars, you know, you're going to need a vacuum in which to live, a uh, reverse vacuum, because the whole planet is a vacuum, right? That's what California, the west, the left coast, is a vacuum to the little system. That's like religion, uh, community, spirituality, you know, humanity on, on a level, uh, you know, understanding the rules. Sure, they can, you can uh, change the rules, you know, you can, you know, you can moderate control, uh, that's what um, the big system does, you know, with, with the camera, you're controlling, you're like, everyone is seeing this, and they go, oh my god, we better believe him, <laughs> and, uh, and it's because of the little system that they actually do, but the little system is generally on its own. George Washington had a little sister. He didn't have a big sister. Okay, the, the media, the, the most successful media guys in the world, um, in the new world, who are Americans, as far as I know, historical Americans, or at least second generation, have big sisters, okay? This is um, what we call psychosociology, you know, because it's like, oh my God, you know, this is profound. Um, and yet to get the, the community vision, the, 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 the It's very difficult. It's, it, you, you can't do it with, uh, without somewhere to step, 
who was a stepfather, okay, without, you know, the godfather. You know, mine was sort of saying, yeah, he uh, said, ouch, something like that. And it was hilarious, you know, no doubt about it. But um, the reality can turn completely negative, okay? So if we don't want negativity, then we have to understand. We have to understand there has to be a vacuum in which we are rushing into, okay? And it is really a good thing, but you're, you're not going to really go for it without having uh, love. Oh, there's something on here. Okay, uh, there it is. Um, and what do people love? They love shelter. That's the vacuum. So I desperately need a vacuum. And, you know, my ambition is to go full spectrum, like I said, and then look at the negative, look at the embarrassing, and and transform them so that we don't look, you know, we're not going for the shame game. We're not going for the, oh, look at this. These people are really evil. Because <laughs> we can all have that spectrum. Okay, we all have, but we have to understand that and, and look at it and understand it and figure out the actual connection. You know, the, if there is a negative element in any human, you know, all people or humans are tempted or can be tempted. And we want to understand what the, the grounding to that negativity is so that we don't become uh, shocking, especially on the media, because I am right now on the media, okay? I'm, I'm speaking to you, and you guys are, you know, it's going into your mind, and, and uh, the situation, you know, it's, if you want to see me, me change the world, I've got to have a vacuum, okay? That's the bottom line.